Welcome back. Last week we talked about the magic of a fixed cost veterinary business like yours and I suggested that you might brainstorm some ideas with your practice team to increase the value of the average transaction by just one extra pound or one extra dollar. What would that achieve? Well, if you can maintain your fixed costs, that's the cost of all your people, the premises and overheads in line with your budget, that additional pound or dollar per transaction could grow your profit by 10% or more. And that's very well worth doing. I promise to make some suggestions to start you off. Here are two. First, spend half a day taking a close, hard look at the clinical and financial records of 50 recent consecutive consultations. You can download a ready-made consulting room review tool from the Veterinary Business website, or you could simply set up a spreadsheet and record for each consultation the recorded charge for the consulting component of the transaction. The objective of the exercise is to compare the price of your standard 10, 15 or 20 minute consultation with the average recorded for those 50, ignoring the charge for any additional services or dispensed items. We're only concerned with the consulting charge. Why is the average frequently less than the standard charge? Well, because most practice management software systems offer a number of consulting charges with varying discount options for suture removals, checkups, second and subsequent consultations for the same condition, and so on. You'll probably find that the average consulting charge for those 50 represents only 70 or 80% of your standard initial consulting charge. And if that's the case, your policy is easy. Rationalize your consulting charge options down to two or three if you think that's essential. The ideal, of course, is just one so that 15 or 20 minutes of your time as a clinician and the time of every one of your associates in the practice is priced the same at every consultation during normal working hours. The objective is to bring your average consulting charge close to or equivalent to your standard charge. And if you do that in one fell swoop, you're well on your way to increasing the average transaction value by one by the one pound or one dollar you are aiming for. My second suggestion, and perhaps the most important feature of the consulting room review tool, is that it records and monitors clinical recommendations for and compliance with repeat appointments and diagnostic, surgical and other procedures. If compliance is poor, and in the majority of veterinary practices it is, the results open up the potential for several operational policy initiatives, all designed to grow your veterinary business. See you next time.